Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Ruggy. Today, I was handling my blue tongue skink caster, you know, as I do sometimes. I actually don't handle him that much because he doesn't like being handled, so I try not to handle him all the time or anything, but I was handling him and I noticed something when I was handling him. There were these little specks moving on him and I was like, that's weird. Why are there things like on him? So I look closely <laughs> and there's a lot of them. There are a lot of things on him and on my hand. Little specks moving around. They were mites. My blue tongue skink has mites and that's really exciting. So right now I just have him in this little drawer. I'm holding him hostage in there. You caused me a lot of trouble, mister. Goodbye. Um, he's only in there for like very temporary, like until I clean out his tank. Basically he has mites. I just thought I would make a video about it because a lot of you guys I know own reptiles. A lot of you might be beginners because I know some of you get reptiles because you see me with reptiles, which is cool. But if you're gonna get a reptile, or really any animal, you need to be aware of all the possible things that can go wrong. And if you have a lizard or any reptile, a snake, whatever, there's a very good chance you'll have to deal with mites at some point. It's pretty common. If you're lucky, you won't have to ever get them, but it's common and it sucks. And it's not good to have, obviously. And I've luckily never had to deal with them before until now which is really cool. So basically mites are kind of a bitch to get rid of as far as I've heard. Since I noticed he has mites, basically the first thing I'm doing is taking all the substrate out of his tank. I am almost there. I need to like get the vacuum and clean out all the junk that's left because the mites can obviously burrow in the substrate and lay eggs and stuff. So you wanna just get rid of all of that and replace it with paper towels. So, unfortunately, Mr. Caster is going to have to live on paper towels for a little while. And what also sucks is I need to replace the substrate in all of my reptile enclosures with paper towels. You don't have to do this, really, but I am going to because I don't know if I touched, like, something in Caster's tank and then went to touch something else in a different tank. So I don't know if I somehow spread the mites from one tank to another. So just as an extra cautionary thing to do, I'm gonna replace all of my substrates with paper towels and I'm gonna have to go to the store and get mite spray. So that's really exciting. If you guys want me to do a detailed video on how to deal with mites, then I can definitely do that once I take care of them and I know what works. But yeah, it kind of sucks but I think it'll be okay. I'll live. Um, Caster also had one of those wood hides, the log hides, and I literally just threw it away because the mites can literally get into the little crevices of the wood and hide in there. So I was like, nope, not dealing with that. So I just threw it away. And yeah, now all of my reptiles are gonna be like, <sighs> treated for mites just in case basically. And that's really, not how I wanted to spend my week, but you know, it, it's all part of owning animals. Gotta love it. There's a lot of good things, there's a lot of bad things to it, and, and as usual, Malachi's like, just chill in there. What are you doing, Malachi, huh? What do you think you're doing? I just took you out and you pooped on my bed, so that's what I get for showing you attention. He's like, no, please. Off to the store to get some mite spray. I'm stressed out. All right, guys, so it's a few days later and I thought I would give you an update on my whole mite situation. I replaced all of the substrate in my reptile enclosures with paper towel, so that includes my blue tongue skink and both of my snakes. My bearded dragon's on a tile floor, so he's fine, but I did not see any mites on my bearded dragon, luckily. I only saw them on my blue tongue skink. I checked Monty, my ball python, for mites, and unfortunately, I think he has mites. And luckily, I don't think Athena has mites. I didn't see any on her. 
but I still will be treating Athena, my red tail boa, for mites as if she did have them. It's not going to hurt her to do that, but it's just to be safe in case she does have them and I just can't see it. And I got this mite spray. It's called Natural Chemistry Reptile Spray. It's a really good mite spray. I think it's the best one you can get. It has really good reviews. I treated Castor with it twice already. Even after the first time I treated him, it seemed like he didn't have any mites after that but I am still gonna treat him a total of three times, and same with my snakes, just to make sure that they don't have any mites, cause mites can like hide under their scales and stuff, and they're really tricky. So I just wanna make sure that I take care of that. And then, as for their enclosures, you can scrub them down with Dawn dish soap, but I decided to go hardcore, and I sprayed down all the enclosures with this stuff. It says you can do it, but if you do spray them down with this, this is a pesticide and you need to make sure to rinse the enclosures off really well. So basically what I did was I sprayed the animal with this and left it on for about an hour and then I sprayed their enclosure and then I just thoroughly wiped down the enclosure with like a wet paper towel multiple times and dried it up, wiped it off again just to make sure to get all of the mite spray out of there. And then I put down the paper towel, rinse the mite spray off of the reptile, and then put it back in its enclosure. And yeah, I'm basically going to do that every three days for about a week and a half. And hopefully it takes care of my mite problem. Like I said, it seems to be working well, and I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. This is Castor's enclosure with his paper towel. He's hiding underneath it. There he is. Yeah, and then I just have the fogger going to keep it humid in there for him. And I think he's sad because he doesn't have an actual hide anymore. I have to get him a new one. And then I have Malachi, my bearded dragon. I don't think he has mites. He's a lucky one. And then here's Monty. Hello, Monty. Um, he's on paper towel, like I said, and I also thoroughly cleaned the hides and water dishes to make sure that any mites that were in there aren't anymore, basically. <laughs> I guess that's it for today's video. Just wanted to give you an update, let you know about the mites and what I'm doing to solve this issue. In order to check for mites, just so you guys know, you want to look really closely and see if you see like little tiny things moving around on them. And another way to check for mites is to just wipe your hand all the way down your reptile's entire body and then check your hand for any tiny little mites. I'll have this be a warning to anyone if you guys get any reptiles, you do want to thoroughly inspect them before you make a purchase to make sure that they are healthy and that they don't have mites or whatever the case may be. Or if they do have mites and you want to get something that's sick, then you wanna make sure that you know how to take care of it if you wanna like rescue it or whatever. Also one more thing before I end this video, I do have a GoFundMe for a local dog shelter that rescues dogs and I want to donate money to them for my birthday. My goal is to reach $1,000 by July 16th and we're already over halfway there which is absolutely crazy. And as a bonus, if you guys screenshot proof that you donated and you tweet it to me with the hashtag Let's Save Dogs, you'll be entered to win either a 5 gallon Fluval Spec or my Mango merch. So. If you want to help save some dogs and help support my local shelter that I'm adopting a dog from, then please check out the GoFundMe link in the description. It's just GoFundMe.com slash Let's Save Dogs. Donate any amount of money. Anything helps. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support. That's it for today's video. If you want me to make a video all about treating mites, then I'll do so when I'm done treating my reptiles with mites so that I know how it goes. <laughs> if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week. Check out my social media. Links to those will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.